a sequel to a film that we have asked for for nearly 20 years now. And now, in 2016, we finally get it in all its 90s cheese galore. Does it mean it's good, or is it a sequel that was too late in being made and was only good for its time? I don't know. We're gonna find out right now. Okay, so Independence Day Resurgence. So Independence Day Resurgence takes place 20 years after the invasion of 1996 as it follows the story of David Levinson, where he helps build a defense-heavy world using alien technology so the human race can prepare for the next worldwide attack. All seems peaceful with the human race as it looks like they overpower themselves with carbine rifle looking weapons from Halo 2 and they're like, there's no way the alien race could stand a chance against America until aliens actually come down on Earth and lift an entire city from the ground and we're like, ah, I don't know if we're... I don't know if we're gonna beat them this time. As aliens begin to invade our planet, just like how they did 20 years ago, it's all up to a few brave men and women to stop from the human race and becoming extinct, with cheesy 90s style, of course. Now, Independence Day Resurgence is a sequel to the original Independence Day in 1996, and it was really successful for many reasons back then. For one, you got Will Smith and Jeff Goldblum, and two, it was a rarity that you would see the grand scale of destruction in an action movie before, and Independence Day was one of the first movies to do that. And three, it was just a fun movie overall. But Let's be real here, as much fun as this movie is, like really, it's a fun movie to watch, you can't deny that it's a complete cheese fest. Plus, Roland Emmerich, the original director of the original Independence Day, came back to direct this new Independence Day, giving us a little bit of hope that this can be fun and enjoyable just like the first one. And that's all I was wanting when I was walking to the theater. And I am sad to report that Independence Day Resurgence is a massive disappointment, dude. This movie fucking... I'm a bit sad right now, dude. Look, before we get into the main issues of the film, I want to give a little bit of positivity for this review, and that's easily the visuals that this movie provided us. It's a really pretty movie to look at. When you're seeing the alternate timeline of 2016 and how the humans use the alien technology to help our planet become safer, I thought it was a really interesting and imaginative concept. The designs of the weapons, ships, and all the alien weaponry that you see in action all, like, five minutes in total that they show, but it was a really fun time to watch. And Jeff Goldblum proves to us on how and why he's so awesome in a movie like this. Like, he's aware of what type of movie he's in, so he makes sure that he has fun with this movie, and in return, we have fun with the movie as well. It makes me want a movie where it's written and directed by Jeff Goldblum, starring Jeff Goldblum, co-starring Jeff Goldblum, cinematography by Jeff Goldblum, a movie where it's all about Jeff Goldblum, so give me more Jeff Goldblum. He was Ian Malcolm in Jurassic Park. That's enough evidence as to why I want that to happen. Uh, <laughs> But that's it when it comes to positivity in the movie. Like, I tried, guys. I tried having a good time with the movie. Like, I really wanted to be positive about it. Main reasons being is the pacing. Like, I understand it was a throwback to the original and how it was paced, like it was jumping from character to character and how it was given their point of view on the alien invasion. But the difference is that those characters were actually cool and interesting to watch on screen, whereas Resurgence doesn't have those types of characters in which you can get behind and you care about their survival. Granted, the original movie doesn't have good pacing to begin with either, but at least it had it in interesting and energetic characters to fall back on. Resurgent doesn't have anybody that you care about that's not Jeff Goldblum. Because I really, like hear me right now, I really hated these characters in the movie, starting off with not Chris Hemsworth. He was probably one of the least interesting and energetic in the film out of many. Like. I feel sorry for the dude, man. I mean, I know he's trying to make a name for himself and star in that one movie that's just gonna be career-defining, but his agent just keeps picking bad movies for him, and Resurgence isn't gonna be that movie where it's gonna bump up his career. He doesn't have that fun and energetic presence on screen. I mean, granted, it's not not Chris Hemsworth's fault, but it's more like the writer's and director's fault, because you see that in the other actors, too. Just like the actor Jesse Usher, who kind of looks a lot like Trey Songz, actually. I mean, he has the same problem with this character, but the difference is, is that you can tell that he was trying to bit too hard with his character. With actors, it should come naturally and comfortable, something that almost all the main characters lacked in this movie. I just didn't feel that level of comfortability in Mr. Stelia Girl. And Micah Monroe, she was okay. I mean, she was probably the best out of the three, but it just wasn't enough to save this movie. Despite all the boring ass characters, you get action sequences that were just as boring too, because this movie really fails in bringing the level of stakes for these characters and for planet Earth. You don't really feel them. A dogfight was happening, I'm like, yeah, cool, this is really cool to watch, and then it would just and two seconds after it started, I'm just like, wait a minute, wait. Is that all we're getting, seriously? Then we get back to the boring characters and where they keep introducing new characters like these kids that meet up with Jeff Goldblum's dad that you don't give a shit about and... Oh my god. 
it was a rarity in which a movie would show these characters and owls begging for the action to come back. And this movie was just an overall boring mess. Added with scenes in which you could have done without too. I mean, for example, there was a scene where not Chris Hemsworth takes his dick out and he pisses in front of the aliens and he's flipping them off. He's like, hey guys, look what I'm doing. And the aliens just didn't really give a fuck because it's not Chris Hemsworth and he's not really a threat in the movie. And the movie ended off in a way in which it seemed like we wanted an Independence Day 3, but the audience in my theater was just like, nah, keep that shit. Just leave it the way it is just we'll just move on with our lives and just don't give us an independence day three i don't wanna resurgence gave us a pretty cool movie visually but when it comes to things like story characters pacing fun and energetic things in the movie it's just not there at all because i say if you want to see independence day resurgence i say just wait for the netflix release if this movie didn't have jeff goldblum i'll be really really sad okay guys have you seen independence day resurgence and what did you think about it and what is your favorite alien invasion movie whatever it is is, leave it down below and as always you can follow me on Twitter Facebook Instagram and all that social media shit down below keep in contact with me don't forget to hit that subscribe button and as always may the force be with you